I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Braxis, and in this video I'm going to be talking about installing a grey water system in my house, which at the moment has the outflow from all the upstairs bathroom going down into the septic tank. Uh, these two pipes are the ones that I'm interested in right now. Uh, this one here is one and a half inch ABS, and this one is two inch ABS. The one and a half inch ABS ha is that's coming from the washing machine, the laundry washing machine upstairs. Uh, the two inch pipe is a, a union of the uh, shower and bath which is coming down through this little trap and uh, the the sink from the bathroom upstairs uh, they, they join together and what I want to be doing is I want to take uh, this outflowing water and grab it before it goes down into the leach field and I want to send it out into the greenhouse which is on the other side of this wall now this isn't something that I'm adding uh, you know, later on, uh, as a complete surprise to myself, this was all designed into the system. Uh, I, when I worked with the plumbers initially, I uh, you know asked them to lay things out in this way so that I could change them after we'd gotten all the inspections and we were uh, you know a little free uh, freer to do things like gray water because gray water is kind of like a sketchy thing in different uh, you know uh, building zones. Like you know, some building inspectors are all about using gray water and some of them are kind of nervous about it. So it was the kind of thing we just wanted to, you know, get everything done and then do some modifications. So the modifications that I'm going to be doing uh, are involving these uh, Jandy valves. Uh, I've used these in the past. Uh, what these are is they are the, like a switching valve uh, where you have this little uh, handle and you can switch from one direction to another direction. Uh, it can either come in here and be sent to the left or the right, or uh, you can change these guys up so that it can uh, come from you know this end and it can either go to the left or, or keep going straight. You get some uh, different options on them. Uh, I, I forget which way they come. They come installed. Uh, I don't recall which way they come installed, but they, they uh, you can uh, you can modify them by uh, opening them up and kind of flipping them around and make it so that it'll uh, you know go one way or the other. In fact, I think that this is the, this one here. Is the one that I modified. This is the two-inch one, and uh, this one. No, I didn't modify I, I, either of these. But anyway, you can modify them so that uh, the way the default is is that the water comes in this way. It can go left or right, um, but you can modify them so that the water can come in this way and then keep going straight or, or take a, a bank off to the side over there. Uh, you just open this up and you kind of flip them around, and uh, you know it works that way too. So anyway, I got to get these guys up and in here. Uh, this is the ultimate design that I'm going to be working on. I've got it kind of sketched out right here where uh, this is the two inch pipe and this is the one and a half inch pipe and I'm going to be adding the two valves and they're going to be uh, splitting off and then uh, joining each other and then go outside and with a series of bends. I'm sorry, my left and right on the uh, view screen here is backwards, so I keep pointing the wrong direction. But they're going to go outside the wall, going up <laughs> that way over there. So uh, the stuff in orange is the stuff that I'm going to be adding to the system. And the places where they're going to be going, it's a little bit awkward. Uh, one of them, uh, the two-inch one, it's not going to go in this area. It's going to go right up in here. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. It's going to go uh, right up in this area right here so the water will come down and branching to the left will bring it out to the uh, greenhouse and uh, going straight will bring it into the septic. Now realistically I'm probably never going to have the water go into the septic system but I just I love to have options. I don't like to paint myself in a corner. Uh, like let's say I was going to put something down the drain upstairs that I know for sure I don't want to have that in the uh, uh, in the garden. I don't want that going into my plants. I don't know exactly what that might be. Maybe there's some cleaner that I need to use or something like that. And, uh, you know, I just don't want to box myself into a corner where I absolutely have to put everything out in the greenhouse. I guess I could go out in the greenhouse and catch it or something. But anyway, it's nice to have the switching valve. You know, if you, if you sell the house later on and people aren't into gray water, you can turn it back into a, a normal system. So this is where the two inch valve is going to go. And the one and a half inch valve is going to go way up in here. And it's going to branch off to the side. And over here, they're going to join together and then go out that way and there is a hole 
down in there. We're going to go out into the greenhouse right now, actually. I'm going to show you uh, what we got going on out on the other side. And I did, oh, I'm gonna, I don't want to waste electricity. Left the light on. Uh, I don't want to uh, get overly excited about this, but I was, I was really smart. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did that was super, super smart here. Uh, let's get this this uh, shot set up so you can kind of see the key elements here. Okay, yeah. So uh, this is where it's coming out on the other side. So uh, the, the things join together and then they're going to shoot down here and then there's a 90 degree and it's going to come out uh, over this way. Now uh, you might have seen me do stucco work in the past and the way I do stucco work, what's here is a bunch of uh, pink foam insulation, like the, that uh, stuff that you can use subgrade on the side of your house. I believe there's four inches there's four inches of pink foam insulation uh, on this wall. And on top of that, there's wire lath. And then over the wire lath, in fact, just in a recent video, um, I was doing this section down here where I put the wire lath on and then screwed it into the uh, foundation uh, using um, you know, Tapcon screws. And then I put a layer of concrete uh, stucco over it, let that cure, and then do a final smooth layer. Um, and when I was uh, chiseling through here, right in here, I noticed that I did something really smart, and that's, that's uncharacteristic of me, but I noticed it when I was, uh, I was going in here, is that I, I neglected to put a, uh, any lath in this area. I left this area open for lath, so uh, I made it a lot easier for myself. I, I knew that there was going to be a hole in this area, so when I was putting the lath up, and I don't, I don't literally remember doing this, but I'm, I'm down here and there's no wire lath. So I must have been smart enough to realize that uh, I needed to leave this open, and I left a hole there. So as I'm going through, I'm not having to cut through the wire lath also. So that's pretty, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Praxis of the Past, for having done that. So uh, the water's going to come out here, and then I'm going to do something with it. I don't, I don't know the whole plan on what I'm going to be doing out here. But the point of the water, once it gets out here, is to turn, I'm just going to pop you guys off the tripod here is to turn this, which is definitely not a greenhouse. I mean, the primary color that I'm noticing here is, is brown, and it's not just because there's a piece of cardboard over there. So we're going to turn this brown floor into green, and uh, I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey of how we're doing that, but it's all going to start with water coming from that source, and it's going to distribute all across all this area and uh, it's going to turn this dry desert into a lush oasis. And it all starts with just free water that we're flushing down the drain. Not, not, not through the toilet, <laughs> but from the sink, the laundry, and the shower. That's it. I hope you find this helpful. I hope you join me for the rest of the process watching this place turn all green. And thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you're interested in seeing the process of putting the stucco on the wall and how all that goes together, here's a link to the video where I talk specifically about working on this wall right here.